Hello everybody and welcome to TJ's Lego Room and today I'm going to grant a whole lot of wishes because a whole lot of people in comments were asking for a parts list and instructions for the best minifigure scale speeder bike. Now I can't actually put out instructions for that version because Brick Fanatics already did it. They are the ones who originally built the mock and they did such a good job. We really want to make sure everybody goes and supports them for the great work that they do. However, I've made some modifications to it, and so my modified version is now up on rubricable.com for free. You're very welcome, but in all honesty, I think we need to just thank Brick Fanatics for building such an awesome base model for me to work with. Great job, you guys. You guys are awesome. So this is obviously my modified version. Um, I've made a few small changes, uh, just for mostly to the aesthetics. Um, but then just one other structural change as well. Uh, I was able to bring the front forks a little bit closer together, which if you've seen the first video, you know that uh, I didn't like how far apart those front veins were. And so I was able to finally bring those together by uh, adding a couple parts and subtracting a couple parts as well. And then on the back end where those uh, air brakes used to stick straight out, which uh, actually did make sense with a lot of the pictures that I saw and with the cross-section book that I have. They did have like a little platform, little air brake thing on the back. But in the drawings that I saw, it actually could fluctuate. The flaps could move up and down a little bit. And because the minifigure neck bracket was pretty difficult for me to get a hold of and I didn't have very many in my collection, I swapped those out to uh, wedge, uh, cheese wedges just to make it a little bit easier to uh, mass produce this guy. <laughs> so, uh, again, the parts list and instructions for my modified version are up on rubricable.com. So I hope you guys are able to finally put it together yourself if you didn't already build the Brick Fanatics version. Or if you did, and you like the uh, way that I put the veins closer together, you're welcome to just go download the instructions I made for free. No big deal, right? <laughs> I love it when people do stuff for free. It's great. Uh, I absolutely love it. But of course, the other reason I wanted to uh, build this speeder bike is because they always look so good in pairs. <laughs> and to be honest, I think it looks fantastic when you got two of these guys next to each other, speeding around whatever terrain happens to be around. And I really do like the black and red look. I really do. I know a couple of people mentioned that you can't beat the original color scheme, but come on, it's the original. Of course we can't beat it, but can we make it a little bit different? Make it a, pop a little bit more? Maybe, maybe, who knows? <laughs> so as I'm showing you this, uh, I actually have built four other speeder bikes as well. And so let's move those guys out of the way and we'll have a nice little parade of speeder bikes. So first off, if the first order has them, we gotta have some sort of a rebel speeder bike, right? So this is an all gray version, uh, light gray and dark bluish gray as well. Uh, this one, I tried to keep as simple as possible because I, I imagine that the rebellion and stuff would probably not have a whole lot of money to be able to paint them. So pretty much the original factory gray as these guys come off the assembly line before they get uh, painted, depending on the terrain and uh, the place of service that these are gonna go into, into uh, off the assembly line for the Imperials. Then we have a resistance version, and this is Poe Dameron's speeder bike, as you can see, inspired by the colors of BB-8 and his uh, Rise of Skywalker X-Wing, which is also orange and white. Just made a few uh, color swaps here and there for the orange parts, wherever the orange parts were available. Uh, then we swapped out a few other ones for the white. And believe it or not, I actually kept a few of the parts gray on purpose because the white and orange kind of blends together and, and disappears on this <laughs> whenever I try to record a little bit. So uh, we kept a little bit of the gray in there just to uh, provide a little bit of contrast. So good times. And then, of course, I have the really fun ones. The first one, Tuscan Raider in sand tan and dark tan. <laughs> I actually really in, in, enjoy doing the different colors, and I thought the Tuscan Raider worked perfectly with this one. 
Uh, not really sure if a Tuscan Raider, Raider can drive a speeder bike because, you know, they much prefer Banthas, especially Banthas named Appa. But, uh, you know, Tuscan Raider on a speeder bike. Sure. Why not? I've seen Stranger Things. I saw a little baby Yoda riding a speeder bike with the Mandalorian. <laughs> and finally, now this one is a little bit of a mashup, which I'm pretty excited about. Finally, boop, Tron. <laughs> okay, I didn't go full Tron. I didn't actually put the little tail thing coming out the back. But this would be my uh, Tron version of the speeder bike as well. I ended up getting a couple of those Tron sets, which I was pretty excited about. One of them I scavenged, though, for parts. And uh, turns out, making a black and Tron blue version of this thing actually looks pretty good. I really don't mind it that much. There's not a whole lot of that uh, light blue color. Um, I'm not even... I'm not exactly sure what the color actually is called. I'm sure somebody in the comments will uh, remedy that for us. But uh, I really liked the uh, I really like doing Tron versions of things for some reason. The black and light blue just really has an aesthetic pleasantry to it. it has a very pleasing contrast. So I quite enjoy it. <laughs> well, and uh, that's pretty much it. So out of the six versions, the one that, the one that I did put up on Rebrickable is the uh, Sith Trooper red version. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the version you want. If it's not, then go ahead and swap colors. I don't mind. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to swap the colors as well. You just uh, put the parts list on Bricklink and then just change the color that you want. Not a huge deal. So, all right. Well, Anyway, until next time in TJ's Laker Room, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and play well. Bye.